anyhow, now we come to the eviction notice, and I think it was February 2nd, if my memory serves me. And we all got put into a school. There were a thousand people who got evicted at the time. My father had a mental breakdown. He was the one who always took care of the family, and here he let them down. Everybody said we should leave the country, and he said, no, it'll blow over, it'll blow over. I have to find a way to be able to support my family, and I can't go to America, and it'll... And then it all hit him. So when we got to that school, the first thing they did is separated men and women. So I immediately volunteered to work in the kitchen and, and bring the carts of food to all the different people because this gave me a way to be able to see both my mother and my father. My mother was much more composed than my father for some strange reason. But after a few days he pulled himself together and they allowed everybody to take 40 kilos of luggage with them. But I think my father got an exception and was able to take a little more. So he took some medical instruments. And I remember to this day, he, I don't know where he found it, but he took a treadle drill machine. Because, of course, we never had those in Vienna. We, we had electric drill machines like everybody else. Well, he took that along with him. So we had this long train ride, and eventually we got to Lublin. And in Lublin, they put us on open cattle cars. Oh, no, not even cattle cars, like just those open railway trains. And this was Poland, and it was the beginning of February, and the temperatures were way below freezing. And even though the trip took only about two hours, it was one of my worst experiences. It was definitely my worst experience up to that time. We got into a town called Opole. And when we got off the train, there were all the townspeople, all the townspeople who were a, a little wealthier. It wasn't a wealthy town, but the upper crust of the townspeople had congregated in the synagogue. And they had decided that each family was going to take in a family to live with them. And I remember at the time, I, knowing that we were going into Poland, I had put on ski pants and a ski hat. I remember it was a pointed ski hat. And I looked like about 12 years old. And this lady looked at me and she had a 12-year-old daughter and she decided she was going to take us in. 